Oh my god, there I am. That's me, and I am now streaming, thinking aloud, I've entitled it. Um, I'm in my car. I'm in uh, the shopping center, and um, I'm thinking aloud. Um, unfortunately, from my point of view, there doesn't appear to be anybody viewing this stream. I can see up the top um, left hand corner my name and it says zero people are here now. So zero people have deigned to take uh, an interest in thinking aloud, which as I said is quite sad. I'll just flip the camera around and you can take a look again at the vista where I am. There I am, I'm in the car as I said, looking out at the shopping centre. There's a an apart hotel over there, I believe is what they're called. It's a Crown Plaza. The hotel is on the right and the uh, apartments are on the left of the building uh, combined together. It's known, as I said, as, a, as an apart hotel. So I'll flip it back around and you can look at me again. Not that you are, not that anybody is. Oh my goodness, there I am again. As somebody once remarked, my hideous visage. Hmm, I, I took that as a compliment. Um, okay, so it's evening time. Um, the big talking point this evening in Dublin is, in Ireland in fact, is the referendums that are taking place. More so, one of the referendums, uh, the marriage equality referendum. The other referendum is about lowering the age um, at which somebody can become president. Uh, from currently it's 35 to 21, and it's really hasn't really gained a lot of interest. You know, it hasn't uh, exactly lit up the place, people talking about it. Um, oh my god. Um, yeah, the part, the, the president, 21, yeah. Uh, the other referendum, of course, the uh, marriage equality, wherein gay people will be allowed the same um, right of marriage that currently is only afforded, accorded to heterosexual people under the Irish constitution. And it's a big, big decision, and it's a big day, and there's a lot uh, riding on it um, in terms of how the country goes forward from here on. Um, Obviously, you know, on one side you've got conservatives, um, religious people um, who just find the whole thing an appalling vista. Um, uh, somebody told me, said to me, or I read somewhere, they seem to be obsessed with the lock and key biological uh, traits of, of people, you know, um, male and female. And they don't really see the love side of it. That's one aspect. Although I've heard other arguments to the contrary. And it's really been a big debate for the last very, very long time in Dublin. In Ireland, in fact, for the last... It's been raging since the campaign kicked off. Um, must be about three or four months. Man, it's been relentless. Literally on with the telly. And it's all on with the telly, on with the radio. Open the paper read the newspaper, I open the paper, read the internet, everywhere people are talking about it. Okay, so we just flip around again, you can look at once more at the Apart Hotel. I see, sadly, I still have not garnered even one fucking viewer to this stream. And me going to all this trouble trying to think aloud. Okay, so I'll just turn it back around. Yep, there we are, the Apart Hotel, the man was walking by there. Okay, and, and a hedgerow, you can see a hedgerow and a, a kind of a pedestrian glass shelter for the pedestrians to, to walk um, through when it's pissing rain as it frequently does in this country. Okay, so I'll flip, shall I flip back around? I'm going to bring this to an end now in a moment because really and truly there's only so much thinking aloud you can do without running out of things to think about. Uh, well, to think aloud about, I mean, you're constantly thinking. Constantly thinking, aren't we? Uh, I mean, didn't James Joyce have that whole idea with a stream of consciousness and all that, all that kind of stuff? Um, so let me see. I'll, I'll flip the I'll flip the camera just that way. Oh wait, no, I have to flip it. You have to flip it, Brian. Okay, flip it. More people walking by. Um, I feel like I'm in Plato's cave. 
Plato's Cave. Yeah, there's more people. Um, there, look, that's that's up that way, and that's to my right, and that's to my left. Okay, more people flipping by. There's the Apart Hotel. As you can see, Blanchardstown is written on the side of that shelter for the public. There's a man going by talking on his phone. Okay, flip it back around again. Still zero people here now. Okay, tragico, as they say. Um, okay, so we'll just lift the camera. If somebody told me uh, you should take a selfie from above, I guess that's to do away with jowls and chins and things like that. Yes, I can see that, uh, the effectiveness of that tactic. Um, oh my goodness, man. One person is here now. One person is here now. I've got somebody tuning in. And, um, well, I'm just uh, in the car thinking aloud, and I've been doing so for the last um a couple of minutes and it's friday evening in dublin i'm on the northwest side of dublin city uh in the blanchardstown shopping center um thinking aloud in my car um as i was saying earlier uh the marriage referendum has been held today in the country uh one of two referendums um and uh it's um momentous yeah it's momentous i'll be tuning in tomorrow morning to all the results to hear what uh what, what's going on the results and uh to hear how it turns out because it's uh, it's going to be really good you know so listen i'm going to flip around one last time i'm going to say goodbye checking out selfie from above selfie from below uh flip around and say this is the end of my thinking aloud stream for now and uh, i wish you the best of luck whoever you are and um, I'll see you the next time because I've no doubt this type of thing I will be doing again. So here's the one last flip of the Apart Hotel. There she is on the horizon. Oh my goodness, there's a man walking by. And his lady friend. Okay. And um, okay, that's it. I'm ending it now. It all ends now. Or as Samuel Beckett said, it all stops in the end.